We are back with another episode of the Makeshift Podcast. This is episode number 65. We're in the lineman numbers. The lineman numbers? Yeah, 60s. We're in the 60s. We're, <laughs> we're, I looked up what the most famous and the best players from number 65 to ever wear it was. What do we have? Dave Butts. Dave Butts? His last <laughs> okay. name is B-U-T-Z. That's Just, honestly one of the all-time names in sports. Yeah, I know. It has to be. This is the special podcast. And he was a lineman? He's a D lineman. D line. I so this what, is for Dave. There's probably a 65 relief pitcher or something. Give me some. Uh, give me someone else. All right, fine. No, you don't have to give it to me. Okay. You don't actually have to give okay, it to me. Okay, I won't me. give it to you. Okay, 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 okay. We're back. Take I want to. Let's um, take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. I'm going to take a break from a series for a second. I want to announce two things. All right, announce. First of all, announce first of all, look at this. We both got one of these. Out West. Out West. I yeah, just want to shout, shout out, out West. Out West. Um, but just want to say thank you for giving us the merch, sending us this merch. He sent us a bunch of stuff in the past. So I, I just want to give a formal shout out. Yeah, Wes, you're the man. Because we want to we want to be nice to the people um, and we're appreciative. Um, the other thing that we have this month is a competition. Are you aware we're hosting a contest? No. You have no idea. No. You're out of the loop. No. You want well, me yes. You want I me? am out of the loop. <laughs> you want me to tell you the yeah, contest? Tell me. All right. I'll tell everyone so they could also participate. Makeshift Project is collaborating with Lil Snack. Ah. Right? Yes, Lil, yes, yes. So lilsnack.co, you've probably seen two of our videos that have gone out around this. But basically, every Friday, we're going to be posting a poll on YouTube Community Tab. Okay. It's going to determine the theme of games on lilsnack.co the following Friday. Oh, cool. We're going to post that video on that Friday that the games launch. Yes. And we're going to play. And then you guys could also go play along. We have a leaderboard. Hmm. We're going to be giving out prizes for the top five people hmm. on the leaderboard at the end of the month. You don't have to pay to be in it. You don't have to pay to be in it. All you have to do is plug in your email. You'll be signed up onto our makeshift leaderboard. Nice. We're trying to get people to sign up. I just want to say it in the podcast here. Yeah, let's let, do it. Let the fans know. Um, I don't know what the prize is going to be yet, but we're going to have some sort of prize. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have prizes. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That'll be we fun. We actually might send some sort of prize bag. I was, Ooh, I was hearing there was a a rumors bag. that there was going to be a prize bag, prize bag. Um, or maybe some sort of experience. I don't know, but the top five performers on certain days will also get posted onto our Instagram story. Cool. So a lot of stuff going on with little snack.co. Um, we're working with them. I'm excited about that. I just want to let the people know. A little snack. A little snack. Okay. A little snack. Enough with the announcement. Let's, let's move on. Yep. Okay. All right. What sport is more difficult to play? American football or European football? Okay, so soccer, soccer, or football. <laughs> uh, this was a debate online, and they, people were going crazy over it. The English were getting mad at the Americans. The Americans were getting mad at the English. I think it depends what position you're looking at. So you're saying like holistically as a team, or are you looking at like certain positions? I'm saying what's harder to play. Harder to play. I mean, it is tough. You're right with American football. If you say quarterback, that's totally different than kicker. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> or quarterback, but like let's just all right. Let's say quarterback. Let's say quarterback I'll just go and football. let's say any... I'll just do football. All right, go. And uh, soccer. Go for it. Soccer. 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 Drive that one home. Uh, if I had to... Because you need the stamina for uh, soccer yeah, more so. Definitely. Um, you need more athleticism at the skill positions for football, American football. Yeah, I would agree uh, with that. At other positions, you could probably get away with more, but I think size and athletic-wise, like though, even the big guys are running like four... 4.8 and uh, yeah, 4.8, 4.8. How do you say it? 4.8, 4. Yeah, they're running like 4.8, <laughs> 4.9s and 40-yard dashes, which is insane to be like 300 pounds like and do Vince that. Like Wolf Fork. And I think the game of football is a little bit more complicated. Which football? American football. Okay. For, I'm saying American. I'm saying football, but I mean American, American football. Because soccer, it's called soccer. Yeah, okay. That's what we call it. Um, so you're saying football is more challenging. But then again, then again, the, the eye foot coordination is something that I don't have. But I don't think that they have the hand eye coordination. Yeah, no, I've seen Ronaldo throw a football. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I've, but then again, you see, uh, maybe the skill position players have are pretty athletic all around. Like Odell, he could kick a soccer ball. No, he definitely can. Yeah. I've seen him do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then soccer also translates to football. So even if you're looking at like a kicker, it's like, I don't even know if most soccer players would be great kickers in the NFL. Uh, they probably would. They probably would. Well, take the kicker out of it, though. All right, take the kicker out. Um, I think the quarterback position is more challenging than any soccer position. Well, even like cornerback is like the hardest position in all of sports. Yeah. All of sports? Uh, Pro potentially. Probably. Like, what else? But then again, like, if you'd go wide receiver, then I think it's tougher to play soccer than it is to play wide receiver, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of me watching a soccer game and how many times during the game am I saying that was 
extremely athletic. Yeah, it doesn't happen often, I guess. I mean, the Is that what you're pick, saying? I don't know. It sounds so ignorant. The kicking a ball around and the headers and the crosses and the stuff, being able to stop the ball, yeah, it's impressive. It is. But when you talk about like difficulty, maybe it's maybe it's American football. I think a few positions on the football field are more difficult than soccer. Like quarterback, cornerback, middle linebacker, and maybe safety are all definitely more difficult than soccer. But if you look at like a D lineman, all you have to be is physically gifted and then you just rush the passer. You don't do anything besides run straight and tackle someone. I think that soccer is way more difficult than being a D lineman. If you're physically gifted, you're just there. Okay. And you train, but like obviously it's harder than that. But. Yeah. Okay. I can get behind it. I'm going to take American football. I'm doing okay. it. I'm doing it. I'm going to go 50 50. I, uh, I feel a little foggy. I don't know what's going on. You feel foggy? No, I'm good. Okay. They're getting <laughs> gassed out down here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. Random topic. Let's do it. But it's it's remarkable. I'm Our ready. friend Drew gave me this topic. Drew, shout out Drew. Have you heard of the Great Emu War? Like the emu as in the bird? Emu as the bird. I have not. It is crazy. Yeah, let's let's it's talk about it. Insanity. Talk to me about so it. So in Australia in 1932, there was a conflict between Australian farmers and a large population of emu. Emus are I'm terrifying. Talking, <laughs> Brian, I'm talking 20,000 emu. They were taking over the crop. They were taking over the fields. They're flightless birds. They don't fly, right? They, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, they don't. But they okay. were damaging the crop, and the farmers were getting all heated and like mad okay. and angry. So they're like, we're going to go to war with the emu. Wow. So they literally the took, farmers better of one. They used machine guns. They proved ineffective on the emus. How? I don't that know. That doesn't make any sense. But they sense. were trying to control the wildlife, and by the third day, they had only killed thirty emus. <laughs> I feel like I personally could do a better job at that. I don't 30? know. Thirty? I don't know what's going on. How many farmers were there? Five. No, I think they formed like an army and they put like a military together to be able to take on the emus in the Great Emu War. And at one point they were killing like 100 emus a week. But that's, that's not enough to kill 20,000 over the course of time. machine guns, like what's happening? Brian, I have no idea. How are they not killing I more think it emus? I think it lasted for like two months. Um, the commander claimed they had 986 total kills. So that's not even one twenty fifth of the pop. That's wow. not even one twentieth the population. Of I would emus say the emus have. won the war. They used nine thousand eight hundred sixty rounds of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's I think so much. I think after injuries and stuff, like twenty five hundred emus died, according to the internet. But um, still, but the emus came out on top. They are. A re- I don't even know what an emu looks like. It's I like look- an ostrich looking looking thing. Yeah, yeah, they're oh, yeah. kind of terrifying. <laughs> they are terrifying. Um, I graphic. thought that was unbelievably ridiculous. It is unbelievable. I so the emus, the emus, if they ever want to take over the world, I think they are the animal to do it. Well, there's not an emu within like a thousand mile radius <laughs> of us. <laughs> I don't think. But if there was, if there was the same amount of emus on the planet, oh, yeah. as humans, definitely they they would be the superior. No, definitely not. <laughs> you don't think so? No, we have bombs. Bombs, yes. But if it were if it were guns against emus, I, I'm, I'm just going with history, Brian. I'm not. I'm not. When was I'm, this? This was 1932. So technology might might have advanced yeah, a little. Let's bit. let's give us ourselves some credit here. I How think did the emus win? Fine. How did they win? How many humans died in the war? Uh, apparently, there was no humans. Oh, that so died. then the humans yeah, won. Yeah. The, no, well, they didn't win. The emus still ruined the crop and the field. Oh yeah, so they lost. They 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 wound up not Damn. taking them out. Yeah, Machine guns. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know what a machine gun looks like in 1932. Tommy gun? Like, yeah, well, uh, the Thompson. The Tommy gun. Call, Call of Duty? Yeah. I think a Tommy gun is a Thompson. Is it? Thompson? Tommy. I would have, yeah, I guess you're right. Drum gun. All right, I have a couple games for you. All right, let's hear it. I got a few ideas from Sambucha. Changed them up a little bit. Found some other sources. Guess how tall these fictional characters are. Mm. Okay. There we go. Let's I'm pretty tall. Height. I'm going to say I'm taller than a lot of them. I'm going to say you're not. Okay. No, we'll see. Bowser. Bowser. Yeah. How, oh, how tall is he? He's got to be pretty pretty big. Big turtle. And the, from your hint that a lot of these are probably taller than me, I don't know if that was well, a hint. that wasn't a hint. Don't okay. take that as a hint. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say Bowser's eight feet tall. Bowser is ten foot two. Ten foot two. He's he's a monster. So that's when, huge. When we're playing uh, NBA Street Volume Three and yeah, like these other games where, him. well, I don't know if he's in that one, 
But like all the Mario baseball games, yeah. 10 foot two, of course he's hitting bombs we in the Mario put, You have games. to put him at catcher. Oh, yeah. He's a great catcher. He's probably six feet wide. I actually, there's a fat boy. You put him at first base too. Yeah. First base, good. How tall is Iron Man? I like like Tony Stark or the they're like the same height, right? Five what foot are you talking about five foot ten. Oh, <laughs> like Tony Tony Stark and Tony Iron Stark Man are, or Tony Stark in the suit? Yeah, they're, they're like the same height, aren't they? Five foot ten. Yeah, so he's six foot six in the comics. Okay, that's, he's six foot one in the Marvel universe. Okay, so I guess it just gives him a little, a little, gives little, him a little yeah, boost. Yeah, it gives him a little. Okay. Six foot six, he's supposed to be. I that's, guess they couldn't. They couldn't find a 6'6 guy. That was a good Probably actor. No. Robert Downey Jr. is not... I don't even think he's six feet tall. Probably not. And then how How? And then how tall is Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic's short. He has he's a hedgehog. He's a hedgehog. He's a hedgehog. Let's go two... He's two? speedy. Mm. Let's go three feet, six inches. <gasps> You're no. very close. Very close. Three foot three inches. Three foot three inches? Yeah. But I want to say something. That guy acts so much tougher than he actually is. <laughs> three foot three. Have you ever seen Imagine any... Dr. Eggman. He's probably like seven feet tall. <laughs> Doc... He could just kick Sonic. Dr. Eggman. How does Sonic even... How tall is Dr. Eggman? I didn't look that up, but no, I should look let's it Let's Google it real quick. Because Dr. Eggman, I mean, that's his nemesis. Yeah, but like... That means Knuckles. He's and... seven feet tall. Yeah. So Sonic... Oh, well, yeah, you could that's see... Like, so... That's like... A little person going up against Yao Ming in a you, fight. You could also see, but he has super speed. The height difference in the games. It's clear. It's evident. He is yeah. tough. He's a tough hedgehog. I think he's he's so cool. I like Shadow. He is cool. Yeah, I like Shadow. Shadow. I like Knuckles. Knuckles. All right, I got another one. Plankton. Plankton is a pipsqueak. He now, you talk tiny. about false confidence here. <laughs> this guy acts way tougher than how tall he is. Mm, let's go three inches. He is two inches. Two inches. Not a bad guess. Two inches. That's, yeah, you know what, though? SpongeBob should step on him. How come they never stepped on him? They have stepped on him. I think they have. He just doesn't die. He's resilient. No one dies. No one dies. I disagree with that, with a later segment that we're going to do. Okay. Optimus Prime. Tall dude. He's a, <laughs> he's a big guy. He is a car. He's a truck. He's a truck. He's a 18-wheeler. Full-on truck. Oh, I don't know. 25 feet. 28 feet tall. I don't think I'm... Guessing poorly here. No, I'm, you're I'm not. Proud of, proud I never said you were. I'm not. But how tall of, is 28 feet? That's almost 30 yards or 10 yards. How tall is 28 feet? Yeah, it's like almost 10 yards. 10 it's a yards. first down. It's a first down tall. Pretty much. It's a tall man. And what about Natiri Avatar? The girl from Avatar? The blue person? Yeah, aren't they all blue? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I've never seen Avatar. You never I, seen I got, Avatar? I've never seen it. I don't. I don't watch stuff. What do you want from you gotta me? Watch stuff. I watch some to be stuff. Informed. The stuff that I know, I watch. Uh, well, uh, clearly, five three, <laughs> five foot three. No, she's ten feet tall. Ten feet? Yeah. Who is she? She's the are Avatar. All the, are, are all the avatars? Yeah, I think? they're all really tall. Are they called avatars? Yes. Is it any relation to the guy with the arrow on no, his head? No, no, no. <laughs> That's okay. that's Avatar the Last Airbender. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is that, I don't know. What does Avatar mean? It's a body. Oh yeah. It does mean that. <laughs> yeah. A guy from the from the planet Earth goes into an avatar. Oh. And then goes into the Sounds world. Sounds like a good movie. It is a great movie. We'll see if I ever watch it. All right, so that's all I got for you on that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Super Bowl season, even though I think this podcast will come out after the Super Bowl. Um we asked ah. this question last year. You asked it to me. I'm going to ask you back, and we're going to go over some Super Bowl type content. Okay, all in all in one second okay. here. Guess how much a 30 second Super Bowl commercial costs? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So this is like a premiere commercial. This is a Just 30, one of the commercials. 30 second slot. Doritos during the Super Bowl. Doritos. Any of those? It's got to be really expensive. Thank you. That's my <laughs> guess. Final answer. Final answer. You'd be correct. I'm going to say like, I think that 60 seconds is like. Over five million. I'm going to say it's like three million for thirty seconds. Thirty second slot, Brian. Yeah, is approximately seven million dollars. <laughs> seven million dollars for thirty seconds That's on television. Insane. I wonder the viewership on that. Uh, I have a lot of stats here, but I don't have the viewership. I wish I did. That's Normally, crazy. I'm prepared. Um, can you guess the biggest spender of all time on Super Bowl commercials? Oh, so you asked me this. I too. have a few. Oh, did I? Yeah. Is it Bud Light? It's not Bud Light. Doritos. It's not Doritos. Is it a car? It's not a car. I like the beer, beer realm. Oh, Corona. 
Not <laughs> Coors Light. <laughs> Not Coors Light. It's Miller Light. You want me to tell you? Budweiser. Budweiser. Anheuser Busch. So that's Bud Light. Is it also Bud Light? Yeah. I thought it was Budweiser. Bud Light is Budweiser Light. Yeah, but wait, what? You never knew that? <laughs> I thought they were separate. No. Really? <laughs> yes. Seriously? That's the light version of Budweiser. It's like Miller High Life and Miller. Oh. Miller Light. You never I didn't knew know that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that. I mean, I'm like 99% sure. You might be right. I didn't I realize I that. Right. I didn't realize. I thought they were like competitors, Budweiser oh. and Bud Light. That makes sense. <laughs> they, yeah, I know, we're, we're learning things on this podcast. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, you got it right then. Anheuser Bush. <laughs> I had no That's idea. That's why some people call it Bud Heavy. Like Budweiser, some people call it Bud Heavy. Bud Heavy was like a real thing. No, just not, <laughs> really? I've never, I've never seen no, it. Before. It's Budweiser, so it's Bud Light, but it's heavy. It's the regular version. Did not know that. And now you know. I learned now something you know. new. Um, you know. <laughs> can you guess how much they spent all time on Super Bowl ads? So Budweiser. Bud, I think they've been in 55 Super Bowls. It's the Clydesdales. 55 times... Oh, you're gonna do math? <laughs> no, I don't know. Probably they probably spent like five hundred million dollars. They spent four hundred seventy-five million dollars all That's time. Pretty close in Super Bowl ad commercials. Can you guess how much consumers spend on Super Bowl related purchases on so average? Is, not on average. Total. How much money was spent in twenty twenty three? This is total. This is this is economy shifting stuff. A billion dollars. Seventeen billion dollars. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That's on beverages, food, apparel, decorations, the whole nine. That's a lot of money. And then can you guess the price of a Super Bowl ticket this year? It, this is the most expensive Super Bowl of all time, I think. I think so, yeah. Everything's just skyrocketing in price. And the fact that it's in Las Vegas. Las, like, Las Vegas plays a big part of it. People want to go there. I want to go there. That would be fun. What do you think the cheapest ticket is? The cheapest ticket, it, well, it's definitely in the, I would say it's almost $1,000. I'm just going to say it. Is it $1,000? The cheapest ticket to this year's game is $8,188. It's insane. That's, that's 50 crazy. That's 50% more expensive than the cheapest ticket at last year's Super Bowl, that's which was $5,997. Where was last year's Super Bowl? Was that Hard Rock? I want to say. Or Arizona? Oh, Glendale, Arizona. It was Arizona. Las Vegas, Nevada, people want to go there way more than Glendale, Arizona. Actually, Glendale's not that bad. <laughs> it's, I don't is know. it? I don't know. I don't Do they have know. golf there? I don't yeah, know what's, don't what's know. going on there. Can you guess the most expensive Super Bowl ticket this year? I'm going to say it's very expensive. I'm going to say it's $100,000. <laughs> it's not that high. It's $44,000. That's a salary. Yeah. It's, it's Well, yeah. That's a salary. Yeah, it is. It is. That's like almost the median salary. Yeah. That's and people much. are just casually going to the Super Bowl for right. that price. Uh, well, not you probably got to be pretty rich. Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> or win tickets. A little, little crazy. All right, moving on. I have another fun game. Okay. That goes with my last game about the murders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. How many kills do these characters have? Kills? Yeah. Okay. How many times have these fictional characters killed people? Okay. Or other fictional characters? Let's do it. Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr hasn't killed anyone, has he? Wait. Two. Who do you think he killed? Two people. His parents. You know when he was uh, like the rock star, Patrick Starr? Sure. Like the one he's the big antenna thing? You think he killed somebody there? I don't know. Someone might have died. How many? 50 kills. 50 kills? Who? I don't know. Who are we talking? killed 50 people. Says who? I don't know. <laughs> it just says the internet. Okay. What about Dora the Explorer? These people, I didn't think they killed anyone. You think somebody's innocent until they're not. 70. <laughs> She's killed 23 people. 23 people. Isn't that insane? Doing what? I'm exploring. Exploring. I guess if people get in her way, in her track. Swiper? Tracks. Swiper? Swiper's still alive. Swiper indirectly, probably. Oh, but it was her fault. It was probably, she was probably charged for it. Okay. You think she was in jail? I don't know. No. What about Poe? Kung Fu Panda. Oh, I thought you meant the Teletubby. No, <laughs> not to be confused. Jack Black. Jack Black. Uh, I mean, probably a ton. I don't... You would. One would think. 213. You're very close. He's killed 200 people. 200. Or fictional animals. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. But that guy's aggressive. Animals are people too. Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Three is coming out. I think four. Four. The fourth. Maybe. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. He's aggressive. All right. How many kills do these characters have? 
Spider-Man. Oh, well, Spider-Man's a good guy. He's, he's a good guy. He's, he's not. Guy. He's a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He's not supposed to kill people. He says that he doesn't. I'm not sure he has many then. I'm going to go with maybe the villains. Let's go. F- there's what is that? Three. Mo- I'll go three because of the three Tobey Maguire movies. <laughs> okay. Uh, he only has two kills. Two. Okay. So you were pretty close. Saving I don't know who he's killed, but probably indirectly. Didn't yeah. Doc Ock die? I don't think so. I think he did. He was in the last movie. Depends what, which which series you're watching. Doc Ock's only in one series. What do you mean the last movie? The one where they all come together? No, 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 no. He was also in Spider-Man 2. Yes, I know. But this is the newest one and he's in it. Oh. But that's what I'm saying. He's alive. Yeah, but it's different. There's a different universe. There's no way home. No, it's the same universe. <laughs> As, Did you watch the movie? No. You don't, no. So you don't understand. It. It's the same universe. <laughs> he dies at the end. The, the sun thing Well, clearly he didn't. <sighs> I don't know who he killed. He killed two people. Okay. What about Mario? Mario? People hate that we say it like that also. Mario. Mario? Um, uh, probably a lot of Goombas. Probably a ton Probably of a lot of Koopas. <laughs> yeah. Koopa uh, Troopas. Never Bowser, though. 412. 40 million kills. 40 million. <laughs> that guy's a mass murderer. <laughs> Again, I don't know what this is referencing. It's or the what? Goombas. He the, kills all yeah, of them. Yeah, but wh- who? Who's controlling the game? Is it a game? It's is the it a show movie? Or show? The whatever it is. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> what about SpongeBob? Uh, you know, you think of him as a happy go lucky guy. Are we guy? counting jellyfish? We're counting jellyfish. So. I'm going to count jellyfish. All right, go for it. a lot. Go for then, it. Because he squirts the. Jelly out yeah. of the, oh no, but he lets him go. Let's go with five. Yeah, let's him go. Let's really go with five. Dem- demolished five. He's killed one hundred and thirteen things or people. One hundred and thirteen kills. These people belong in prison. <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> Isn't I don't that believe, crazy? I just don't believe it. I don't know. Like, show well, me the you proof. Better believe it. Show me the proof. Thanos. Thanos probably has a ton. He's a he's, he's a villain. He's an evil he's man. A villain. He's just got the. Let's he's go. got the. What's the thing called that he wears on his fist? Endgame. No, it's the movie. The glove. <laughs> the glove? Yeah. Thanos glove. No. God's glove. Thunder. <laughs> oh, oh, the infinity glove. Yes. The infinity stone. It's the infinity gauntlet. Gauntlet. Yeah, the infinity stones. There you go. Okay. All right, how many kills does he have? 900. He has trillions. Trillions. Guy just kills. I don't... Guy did just did he destroy a universe? People. Yeah. Okay. He just... He doesn't even care. <laughs> Guy doesn't even care. What about Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse can't... He wouldn't hurt a fly. Yeah, that's what I hurt think. a fly. What but about Steamboat, though? That Steamboat, guy's... He's a little more an animal. He is. <laughs> 28. He has 45 kills. I don't like Just this. go with it. I'm Just going go with, with it. it. I'm going with it. It's crazy. crazy. It's probably Steamboat <laughs> Willie. He's a changed man. I think he got color. <laughs> Did he? he? got color in him. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen Steamboat Willie. I, don't, I haven't either, I but I know what he looks he's like. He's a bad man, it's, apparently. What about Peter Griffin? Oh, ninety-eight. Those uh, chicken battles. Ninety-eight. What's the chicken's name? I think it's just chicken. Chicken. Ninety-eight. Let's go with ninety-eight. He's only killed six people. Six people. Again. I'm surprised by that. Uh yeah, because you know what? He's made some mistakes in his life. He's definitely. He's, he's got some things that he's Also, during the chicken back. battles, he's like crashed trains and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it is more. You never know. Maybe they're on screen deaths. Maybe. That's all I got. Nice. Okay, okay. Um, you ever take out your phone and you play a game? I have done that before, yeah. What game do you still have on your phone? I have, I have one game on my phone. So. I have chess. Chess? You play chess? Mm-hmm. Kill time with chess? Um, like if I'm on the plane and I don't need have service, I play chess. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, I want you to guess something. Okay. Can you guess the most nostalgic mobile game of all time? So Puberty ran a bracket with some Doodle very, Jump. It's not Doodle Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Puberty ran a bracket with some very nostalgic games. Went the distance. Okay. Which which game won? So there was one. So this was voted on by the people. Voted on by the people. By the by you. By the, the people. people. The people. Shout out to the people. Well, my guess was Doodle Jump, but I guess not. What about uh, Crossy Roads? Not Crossy Roads. I don't even... That wouldn't even make my list. Fruit Ninja. Not Fruit. Fruit Ninja is a great pull. It's a great game. Slice and Dice. Remember when we did Real Life Fruit Ninja? Yeah, a long time ago. A long time ago. You'll find that on my <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> you can. Uh, not it. Um, it was in the bracket, though. 
Let me think. I'm trying to think of games that were converted to arcade games because those are big. What about Candy Crush? Not Candy Crush. That was on my list, though. That's like the most played game ever mobile. It's ridiculous. Some of our friends secretly have Candy Crush success. Like, yeah. like insane I level. believe it. It's crazy. Dragon Veil. Vale. No. no. Dragon Veil. Vale. Tetris? No. Dragon Veil vale is fun. Tetris? Tetris is not there either. Dragon Veil vale was fun until you jailbroke it, and then you just like you had everything, and then it ruined the game. All those like farm, Farmville. Farmville. Remember Facebook? Yeah. Uh, no. Let me think here. Give me... Can I have a clue? You want a clue? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a game. It's a game. We used to play it. Oh, uh, Railroad Runners. Not Railroad. Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers, Brian. That's what I meant by Railroad <laughs> Runners. <laughs> I couldn't remember runners. the name. It's not it. It's alliteration. Subway Surfers beat out Temple Run in the finals. Temple Run, also Temple a Run phenomenal game. I do play Subway Surfers sometimes. Do you? I still, have that you still have it? Yes. I only have Doodle Jump. Um, I had a few nostalgic games just to list, because why not? It. While we're here. Temple Run, Pocket God, Doodle Pocket Jump. Pocket God was so good. It's so much fun. It wasn't even a game. Oh, can you still download it? I uh, yeah, I can. actually saw that a week ago. Oh, I would love to. I'm trying to look at what else I have. Doodle Jump 2048 had its own era. That was its own era. 2048 with the squares. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. That's a tough one. I got 4096 once in a square. Are you challenging me to well, beat you? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, Angry Birds. Angry Words Birds. with Friends had a great run. It did. Had a fantastic. Really it's basically did. just Scrabble. Yeah. Um, I put Fruit Ninja on there. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird was good. You know what made a run though. in this bracket? Jetpack Joyride. I love that. I have that. You have that one? Yep. You still have some games on your phone. I'm proud of you. Because on the plane, I don't buy the Wi-Fi and I just yeah. play games. Yep. I played uh, Sudoku on the United app. Heads up. Heads up. Sudoku's good. good. I played Sudoku's that my last flight too. Um, and then Candy Crush was the last one I had on my my Zach's top ten nostalgic bacon? list. Bacon? You just flip bacon. <laughs> you play that on the plane I the past time. On the plane. I have another game. This is a big game. This is a big game podcast for Brian here. Okay. What age would you let your kids do these things? <laughs> you go. You pitch the whole thing up as a game. It's not a game. And you just go. Well, actually, it's not a game. Yeah, it's not a game. <laughs> okay. What Repeat. age would you let? <laughs> <laughs> what age would you let your kids do these things? All right. Again, I'm not a father, so I don't know why. Well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Get tattoos or piercings. Mm. This is a highly debated topic. No, I think it varies. Like piercings is different than tattoos. Piercings, you could go young. You know, so they, they're temporary. You know, they pierce babies', babies ears in India. I think that people could choose to do it here. Yeah. Some people do it. Um, Piercings, like if you're gonna act on your own to go get a piercing, I think you gotta have to you have to be a teenager. So teenager. So thirteen. So thirteen. 13. What about tattoos? Tattoos, I'm gonna say you need to be able to drive. Seventeen? Yeah, and then Jersey? add and then add a year or two. Eighteen? Let's go eighteen. You need to be a legal adult. Yeah, because you know what? You you're gonna live with that thing on your body for the rest of your life. I still don't have any tattoos. My man Brian here is tatted up. I got mine at tatted up. 16, 17, yeah, 16. but I think, 17? I think 18, I think once 18 hits, you're an adult and you can make decisions for yourself. You're going to get a tattoo one day. I'm not. I don't for think I, oh, I you think, think you're going to get the logo. Yeah. Yep. Somewhere. Depends. <laughs> what about going on vacation with friends alone? So a friend vacation, like Ooh. how we went to Montreal one year. Well, we did that at 20 years old. I think that was my first friend vacation. Yeah. At 20. Oh, my parents were so nervous. I got in a lot of trouble that weekend. Your parents are your mom's. No, I didn't lightning. get. Oh, on the way home, I got in trouble. Yeah, I got a speeding ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> I th I think it's around the the same, but I'm gonna go slightly younger. I think if you could drive, so so here it would be 17. You're allowed to go wherever you want when you drive. As if I'm a parent, as long as I know where you are, I would say eight, yeah, 17, 18. I'm gonna say 17. Out of the country, does it change it? Out of the country changes. 18. <laughs> changes one year. Okay. And then what about uh, taking public transportation alone? So if you lived in the city? Were you going to say four? No, no, no. I was going to say 14. You could barely walk. 12. 12. 11. Okay. I, th I think if you... Is there a curfew there? Um. Yes, You don't want to go on the subway no, no, past... No. You don't want past, past 10 o'clock. I was going to say 10. But... but I don't know. I feel like if Be you grow up in the, if you grow up in the city, like I feel it's like different. my mom used to walk to school as like a six year old. Yeah, I feel like, and she was you know not close to the school. Yeah, it's different if you there. live in the suburbs or the city. And also, she was like, I mean, that's like the, the we're 60s. in the country. Yeah, the country. Go on a date. I thought like are, are they? So I guess 
You getting nervous here? I'm, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'm saying. The because uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't do that. You don't uh, have a kid, at, uh, and you didn't go on dates. <laughs> I didn't go on dates. I didn't go on dates. Um, I think if I always kept things a secret, that's the problem. Is that I, <laughs> what I, for I your kept parents? It, yeah, like I never told them yeah, anything same. that I was doing. So that's like I was fair. I had da- I had dates, but I, they weren't. Okay, I what secret. age would you let your kids? <laughs> uh, if your kid was transparent with you, what what age would you let them go out on a date? I think you need to be able to like pay for your own date. Like I'm not going to pay for the date as an adult, you know? So, so when you have a job, so six, I'll go 16 years old. That's fair. 16. I would probably agree with that. Like you could date someone, but like to go on a date, like go out to like, I don't know, like I could drop you off somewhere. Sure. Like mm-hmm. I could give you money. Maybe I'll drop it. Yeah, you, Let's you, go 14, you some money. 14. And then give some money. I'll give some money. What about use the stove? <laughs> If you're, it depends how intelligent I, my kid is. If there's a three year old, you're not going to let him use. No, they probably it can't even reach the stuff. Depends how intelligent my kid is. Because He's an average kid. Eight. Eight. No, 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 no. Let's go 10. 10? 10? 10 you don't want him burning down the house. No, no, no. That's, and you know what? We've seen that. We've seen houses burned down. Have we? On on uh, the main oh, road I over here. Like As a kid. No, I haven't hands. physically like watched, it, watched it. No, but down. I know that. Houses burned out. They definitely do. <laughs> it's no not a happened. fluke. No one lies about it. And then a kid puts so a 10? piece of paper or paper towel on the stove and it's over. Yeah, it's over. Uh, Leaves the rag halfway. I'm going to go 10 years old. I'm confident in my kid. All right. What about uh, what about have a credit card? I didn't get a credit card until I was like 23. 24. I had a debit card first. And then I got a credit card at like 18, 19. Yeah. You know what it is? Is that the debit card is your money. And you can't and the, spend over it. Yeah. And cred, I mean, there's a credit limit on a credit card. And if you don't have a... Uh, don't get technical. Here. I won't get technical. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 18. I think once you go off to college, be like, yeah, hey, I listen, agree. like this is your emergency card. Start building credit if you have to. Well, yeah, you can actually start building credit. I'd, Maybe you get a credit card for them in their name and you use it responsibly so you build their credit. Up. Oh, you just that's credit fraud. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> if you buy for them, I don't know. I don't know. That's a great question. You're not supposed to buy stuff. We don't. Pr- we don't condone that. <laughs> condone what? <laughs> Buying stuff for your kids with that with their name on a credit card. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh, are you not? I don't know. I, I don't have a kid. I've never done it. <laughs> I've never done it. I've never tried it. I don't know. I don't know anything. Um. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. I love countries. I love countries. You don't know much about them. I don't know much about them, but I love them. Um. I have a little quiz for you. Let's do it. Well, a game. We'll call Let's it. Let's do it. Can you name the four countries with green, white, and orange in their flag? I'm colorblind. <laughs> okay, so maybe this isn't. <laughs> but I'll best. try. You'll try. <laughs> green, <laughs> white, orange. Which colors can't you see again? Are you I red? mix all of them up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, green, white, and orange. Well, I know that Ireland is on it. I'm actually bullying you right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. This, this is You're bullying. messing with my uh, disability. Ireland is on there. Yeah, I know. Very that. nice. Okay. Very nice. Green, white, orange. I don't think you'll get more than one more. Really? You know the countries. I just this is a deficiency for you. you yeah. Know? Let me let me try. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mexico has red in it, but it also has green and white, so that's not it. That's not it. Also, Italy is the same colors as Mexico. Yeah. So that's not in it. That's either. not it either. We're going South America. Not South America. No, we're going nope. Europe. We're staying Europe. Uh, yes. Ooh, no. We're going Africa. We're going. There's one in Africa. Maybe two. <laughs> I should look up where this other place is. Chad. Not Chad. I'm just going to be guessing here. Yeah, guess. Uh, Kenya. Not Kenya. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to look up where this other Zimbabwe. one is. Zimbabwe. Not Zimbabwe. Oh, Iraq? No. Not Iraq. Uh, Iran? I don't, I don't know that. No. Where'd you run to? <laughs> Hungary? <laughs> Stay in Africa. Tunisia. Not Tunisia. Ugh. Nigeria. Uh, close. Niger. Niger. Is one of them. Let's go. It's <laughs> not that you know what the flag looks like, but we'll go with it. Okay, this other one's in West Africa, so they're West pretty. Africa. They're pretty good at soccer. Congo, Republic not of Congo. Congo. No, not Republic of Congo. You're oh, very- Cote de Ivory. Yes, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast is on there yes! too. Yes. <laughs> no, very well done. Score. Now you're missing a big one. Oh, there's another one. There's one more. You need Where the is fourth. It? It's in Asia. This is a China, big one. Japan. Vietnam? Not Vietnam. India. India is the last one. At what least is, I got the that one. The fact that you put it last, you're probably going to offend some people. <laughs> I'm colorblind. Give me a break. Colorblind. Give them a break. Color deficient, that Give is. Give them a break over here. Cool. All right, talk about countries. I have one more topic for you about countries as well. 
I would love to hear it. Who is the most famous person from each of these countries? Let's hear it. Argentina. Messi. Yeah, I mean that's it has to be. Do you know anyone else know. from Argentina? Um who's the who's the guy that was from there? Artist? He's an artist? I had Diego Maradona. Oh, Maradona's, Maradona's from there. That's okay. he's an artist of the sport. He's an artist of the sport. But it's <laughs> definitely Messi. Messi I, that's that's the only one where I'm like, okay, Messi a hundred percent is the most famous person. Has to be him. He's the most famous person in the world, probably. Oh yeah. What about Ireland? So my modern day self says Conor McGregor. Yes. And that that's who I would label I'm putting in front. And I agree. Is there anyone else I could even think well, of? Well, there's a couple other people that are super famous from there, but I don't I think Conor McGregor is on a league of his own. What um Liam uh, Neeson? Liam Neeson. Bono? Bono? Bono. Well, Bono might be over. I over. think McGregor. Bono's performing in the sphere. I don't think anymore. It's over. Oh, it's over? Coldplay. You know, Dead Dead and Company has come to the sphere. Oh. Taken over. Um, yeah, but I think it's Conor McGregor. I think it has to be, yeah. Or Bono. Bono. Is it Bono? I I don't know. I'm giving the crown to Conor McGregor there. I think if you go worldwide, they would say Bono. But if you went like United States, we know McGregor. I'm what about that. the USA? The USA, most famous person of all time? Yeah. Trump. Donald Trump. That's what I think. I mean, he's top 10 most famous people ever. I think he's I think top easily. three. Uh, alive people. People alive who are alive. People. Yes. people that are alive. Yeah. Alive people. Alive people. Uh, yeah, no, I has- think it's Trump. Who are some other people that would rival him? T. Swift? LeBron? Yeah, I'm not even sure I put LeBron there. Taylor Swift, like Kanye, when it's, when it's all said and done. Kanye is, is worldwide as well and very popular. Uh, yeah, American. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of athletes. I think it's Trump, no doubt. It could, maybe Barack Obama. Barack Obama would be up there. Hillary People Clinton, would know Obama, but that's like the, the whole world also everyone knows, knows Trump. Trump. So if I go Trump versus Obama, who's more famous? If you I'm, hate I'm him or Trump. you love him, everyone knows Donald Trump. Yeah. Russia. Oh, Mother Russia. That was a terrible accent. Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Who do, who do we have? Vodka. Who do we have from Russia? Well, the number one one is very obvious that I think just is the most famous person there. Yeah, I'm blanking out. I don't know. Vladimir what? Putin. Oh, Putin. Yes. The okay. leader of Russia. <laughs> it's probably Putin. Politically right? challenged. I think it has to be Putin. But or I, who else? Who else you got? Hezbollah. Hezbollah? Oh, from Dag- Dagestan? Dagestan. Or it could be Khabib. Definitely not Khabib. No, it's Vladimir, it's Vladimir Putin. Putin. It has to be. I have no I have no idea who else. There's probably some like Olympian that we're forgetting. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's Putin. What about Italy? Mm. Now, Italy's tough. Mike, the situation. No, no I'm he's not Italian. Uh, so I went back in people that passed away. People that are long gone. Okay, so we're talking across the board here. This one, yeah. Because I don't. there's not many like super famous Italian. Is it like a soccer player? No, there's a bunch of famous Italian people, especially soccer players. Buffon. But I went with like Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. It's He might be the most. But you think that, and then you hear <laughs> this guy's name. Julius Caesar. Julius. Well, he. Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci, too. Ah. I'd go to. Mm. In America, it's definitely Christopher Columbus. I don't know, though. Leonardo da Vinci? I might go Da Vinci. I'm going to take Da Vinci in the, in the upset. Michelangelo. Michelangelo. <laughs> Your accent is on, spot on. Michelangelo. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, all right. So we're going Da Vinci? Yeah. All right. What about South Africa? I think this is between two people. Gary Player. Don't know who that is. <laughs> He's a golfer. Oh. It's the only guy I know from South Africa. Oh, you don't know Nelson Mandela? Oh, I do know Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> I do so know I think it's one. between Nelson Mandela and Elon Musk. Elon Musk is from South Africa? Yeah, that's his accent. Really? Yeah. Who is do you that? think's more famous? Nelson Mandela. Uh, it might be Elon Musk. Is it Elon Musk? It might be Elon Musk. Do people... Here's a question for people. People under 15 years old definitely know Elon Musk. I don't think they know Mandela, unless they learn about him in school. Do people in other parts of the world <laughs> care about people? Like, do they know Elon Musk? Yeah. I think they know Elon Musk. I think it's a very great... Well, because Tesla. Tesla's all Tesla. over. Yeah, yeah. But SpaceX. I can, Twitter. He owns Twitter. I just don't... He I owns don't. Twitter. That's fine. But like celebrities and stuff, like is it only America that really cares? Like are we the people that are like, oh, Conor McGregor. Like and everybody's like, no one cares about oh, Conor McGregor. He's big in Ireland. He is? Well, obviously. in Ireland, yeah, they're proud. But outside of that, like do people know? Do people I care? I think people from around the world definitely like these people I listed. Like yeah. Liam Neeson. People know Liam Neeson all over. 
movie stars and stuff. American culture is huge everywhere else, like music and movies. Yes, these countries have their own music and movies, but I think that American music and movies is huge. And everyone comes here for it, right? Is that, is that fair? Is like the most famous people in the world are, are coming to America? Coming to America? Yeah, it's a like movie. Like Eddie Murphy? That's a movie. I guess so, right? I'm just wondering if people care. Well, you go to these countries, you're going to go to Spain, and I'm you're going to see Spain. that a lot of it's it's influenced by American culture. You're going to hear American music, I'm sure. Oh, you think? Did you hear it in Colombia? That's a good uh, question. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think. So then people know. Very weird. That's Podcast 65. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was a rough one. Podcast 65. <laughs> we struggled through that podcast, we really, but it, we got there in the end of the day. An hour worth of content yeah. that we're probably going to cut down to like 40 minutes. Yeah. Shout out Out West. Yeah, Out uh, West. And uh, if you are Lil going Snack. to join lilsnack.co, I'll throw the link on the screen and join it. Yeah, let's get everybody to Little Lilsnack.co, L-I-L-S-N-A-C-K.co. Yeah. C-O. And you'll see it in the short form and see it and run it. All right. Sign up. That's a wrap. Sign up today. That's a wrap, right? Yeah. That's a wrap.